Hey, how's everybody doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome to my channel. My life is a motherless son. You know, um, I got a video that uh, is doing real well. It's called um, uh, Living Life Without a Mother. It's the pain of losing a mother is timeless. I believe that's the name of the video. I made that video about a year ago. And that video uh, is doing pretty well. You know me. Considering that I only have, at the time, I had less than 100 followers. Or 100 subscribers, rather. I had less than 100. I got like 110 right now. Of course, I would love more subscribers, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to do anything crazy to, just to draw some attention to myself to get more subscribers. Hopefully, people just join and subscribe just simply out of, you know, that something I say resonates with them or they just want to subscribe. You know, they just want to see more of what I'm talking about. But I'm not going to do anything crazy for for uh, subscribers and likes or whatever. But that, that one particular video I made a year ago. And I, I ain't thinking another video far as, well, let me rephrase that because this can be taken the wrong way if I don't say this right. Um, the video meant a lot to me. I made the video with a purpose. You know, it was with a purpose. But what I mean is, I didn't, when I say I didn't think nothing of it, what I meant is I didn't know it was going to do what it's doing. I just do what I do. I post a video, I might get five views, <clears throat> you know, something like that. Or, I might get two views, three views. You know, that's fine with me. I'm, you know, if I can touch one person, I did my job. You know, I'm not pressed over. Uh, if I don't get 100,000 followers or 100,000 views or whatever like that, it'd, it'd be nice. <laughs> don't get me wrong. It'd be nice, but that ain't my, that's not reality for me. You know, I know stuff that I do is not really popular and a lot of people are not going to um, be subscribing every day or whatever the case may be but anyway i made that video and um it did is for me i look at the video now i'm like at 5700 views it got a lot of uh, likes a lot of comments was on there and i try to comment to everybody but it made me think you know why did that video do so well and i think because people can relate to that video they can uh they can understand what that feels like because I look at the comments on there and a lot of people were 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 uh were saying oh, I lost my mom, I lost my mom, or oh, I lost my father, or oh, I lost my mom. But mainly people that lost their mom. And it just reminded me of the pain that that you feel from losing a mother, you know? And uh I appreciate them commenting. I appreciate them letting me know. Mm. I appreciate them letting me know what it, what it meant to them, you know, to watch my video and how it may help them and how other videos that I post is helping them, you know, in some kind of way. I'm not a doctor. I'm not certified. All I'm speaking from is my heart and what I feel. That's all I got, you know. I'm an older man now. You know, that happened a long time ago. Uh, it wasn't long ago to me, but... To you, if I told you when it happened, you'll say, oh, that was old, oh, that's that was a long time ago, depending upon your age. But for me, it it, it wasn't that long ago for me, because it's my world. And we all live in our own worlds, and what may seem long to somebody else is short to somebody else. It's just your world, you know? But uh we are made it to the, we have made it to the end of the year. And we're about to go into the next year. Well, what's the day? The day is the 30th. Is the day the 30th? Um, what was it? Mm. Yeah, tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Yeah. Tomorrow's Friday, New Year's Eve. So we made it into the, we're going into the new year. And uh, I suggest that, you know, you lost people this year. You lost family members this year, last year, or whenever you lost them. And maybe this is the first time you're experiencing all of this new stuff uh, without them. But, you know, you're not without them. You're never without them, really, because they always have a place with you. They're always going to be there with you. So you got to, you know, remember that. 
remember that they're never gone forever. They're just not physically here. But spiritually, you always can keep them alive spiritually. You don't have to let them go spiritually. You can always keep them a part of you and involved. That's what I say. Um, you know, you got you got to keep them involved because they are important and they care about us. They cared about us before they left and uh, we cared about them before they left and we can't act like they don't exist. Now, you know, we all grieve at different points in time in life and we all go through it however long it takes for us. You know, you yeah, you want to go ahead and grieve and you want to go ahead and move forward in life. You don't want to stick in the same place too long. But for some people, you know, you can't really put a time limit on grieving. You know, you just can't. But I'm just saying, grieve, you have to grieve. Go through what you got to go through. Try to get it behind you. Not forget about it, but try to get it to a point where you can function and move forward and continue on living your life and enjoying your life. That's what I say. Um, but we in the new year. We're coming into the new year. New things, new possibilities, new outcomes, new opportunities is for everyone. So I suggest go ahead and get everything lined up. Go ahead and set your plans. Go ahead and get your things in order. So when the new year hit, you're ready to go. You're ready to go strong. <clears throat> and you can do all the things you told your loved ones that you was going to do. And you maybe even can take on a couple of things that they said they wanted to do. And you can start doing it. Like my mother, when I was, I was told that my mother wanted to travel the whole United States and visit all the 50 states. That may seem like nothing today, but back then there was something. And I said, okay. <clears throat> I said, okay, I can do that. I've been to a lot of places worldwide. And uh, I'm, I'm, I've been taking that challenge on. <clears throat> and I'm going to do it. I suggest you do the same thing. So don't let this time of the year get you down too much. Maintain. Be strong. <clears throat> Keep your family members in mind. And life is going to be okay. It's going to be fine. And we're going to make it through this together. Okay? Take care of yourself. God bless you. And I'll talk to you later.